morning guys welcome to today's video today's video is all about I don't know we're gonna find out um, this morning Gabby's been working really hard with little miss Molly this is what Molly learned today just to eat everything that she can that this is not what she learned but she does eat everything now and she's learned that we take things away so she gets really Molly. crafty Molly, sit. Pop. Ah. Sit, pop, pop, Molly, pop, Molly, pop, Ruby, no, <laughs> Molly, good girl. I missed it. I missed you do it. <laughs> I didn't see it. All right, do it again. I mean, it was funny, Ruby. Pop. Yay! Good girl. Good girl. We've been giving Ruby treats too. Don't worry, we're not leaving her out. Oh, Ruby he does it better. Watch, watch, watch. Ruby is in fact in love with the puppy. Pa. 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 Good girl. She is starting to get into the bad stage. Do you think she's getting into the bad stage? Sit. She wakes me up by jumping on my head. She wakes Gabby sit. up now. After my alarm goes off, and yeah. go back to sleep. Molly, sit. Sit. Pa. No. Molly, sit. Molly, sit. Sit, come on, sit. Stand her up and then, okay. Pa. <laughs> pa. Molly, pa. You can still give it to me. Pa. 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 <laughs> She's learning. That's good though. She forgets. She gets to yeah. So if Molly, you guys pop. missed it on Instagram pop. yesterday, um, she was running around the house pop. like she does, like a little tiny pop. monster, just doing pop. circles and circles and circles. And she found the water bowl, and for some reason decided. I mean, she had a bath yesterday, maybe that's why. But she decided it was a great swimming pool, and she just started to paw the water until it went all up over everywhere, and poof, oh. spilled all over the floor. Gabby learned to mop the floor for the first time. She's getting smart. She knows what's happening. Also, a new development with the puppy is that um, when Gabby's alarm goes off in the morning, Gabby shuts it off and then goes back to sleep, and the puppy knows that the alarm means we get up now, so now the puppy pounces on Gabby's face to wake her up. So that's a new thing. What happened in the night last night, Gabby? Oh, two, tragedies, two tragedies happened. She dropped her carrot. Which is her I'm favorite toy. <laughs> her favorite toy ever is the carrot. And she dropped it because there's like a crack between like that big. Did you get up in the middle of the night and get her carrot for her? Oh, that's so sad. That just breaks my heart. What did she do when she dropped her carrot? She ran over to me. She ran to Gabby in like total upsetness. Like laid on me. Yeah, she's like, my carrot is gone. And then what was the other tragedy that happened to her? This morning, she was rolling t at the side of my bed and she fell off. And what did she do? Stayed there shaking like... <laughs> Terrified. Probably that was the first time she's ever really fallen in her little seven and a half weeks of life. Seven and a half weeks. Yeah, on Thursday she'll be eight weeks. Thursday she'll be eight weeks. And cha other changes I've noticed is that she's getting longer, a little tiny bit thinner. Um, total, I noticed big growth in her. She she's will. She will play with the chihuahuas, and the chihuahuas will growl. And as soon as they growl at her, Ruby comes zooming, and she goes right between them. And she's always kind, but she always puts the puppy on the other side of the chihuahuas to make sure that they're safe, which I love that. Um, I told you, I always wanted a friend for Ruby, and now it seems like it's working out well. The other thing I really noticed about her is she that comes she's... When you call her name now. And she's not a crazy puppy. She's a really sensitive Funny. puppy. We Funny. had a a laundry basket in the living room that she was terrified of because it was dark and she couldn't really Molly. see it. And she just sat there looking at it. She's not like a drama queen. Molly, come here. Molly. Like Ruby is more so of a drama queen. Yeah, she comes by her name. I said no in like a deeper voice to her when no. she was biting me. And okay. she like... She, she stops now when you say hey. Yeah, she's literally she's getting so to be the best little dog. And she also runs to Gabby when she's nervous. When she gets scared of the vacuum. If she gets scared, she definitely will run to Gabby. If Ruby gets a little bit too rough with her and she gets nervous, she'll run to Gabby. She's been a treat. Another thing, her ear is standing up. Oh yeah, so Gabby woke up to this this morning. One ear is half up. <laughs> So I know they'll go up and down throughout her puppyhood until she reaches maturity, especially during teething. But one ear is standing sort of up. 
Cute. It is so cute. Like, I'm brave in the stores, you guys. Look at these strawberries. They're amazing. Excuse me, sir. You're in my space. To be honest, I have not mastered following the lines on the ground yet. Like, there's always that one person in the store that's going the wrong way. That's going the wrong direction. Going and the right it's, way. You're going the wrong way. Yeah, it's always me. I'm always going the wrong direction. Look at this store. It has all the stuff that you want. Can you guys guess what I'm trying to buy here? In this section, I wanted my gum, but they don't have my flavor. Gum is going off the shelf, you guys. In a pandemic, you need gum. Okay, so I have to line up here to get called to go through the checkout. We were gonna go grocery shopping yesterday and Sunday, but then we decided let's wait until Monday when there's not as many people. And we we're in and out in no time. We are also back to winter. It is freezing here again. It was it was raining, not snowing, but it could be snowing, not so cold it is. Yeah, it said it's gonna snow today. It said it's gonna snow today. Ugh. So horses are back with blankets on. I thought we were out of the woods. I thought they wouldn't have them on again, but with the rainish weather and snow and cold, I want them to be warm. Oh my gosh, look at all the baby geese. They had bees. See, they're doing social distancing, staying on the grass, away from all the people. It still looks like a ghost town. Look at that, party city, empty. Parking lots are empty. Michael's, empty. Chapters, empty. Do you think Chapters is closed? Yeah. So our economy is open starting today. A lot more stores, but they have to provide curbside pickup. That's the, the new deal. So this is how our uh, this is how our economy is gonna be for a long time, I think. I think we're gonna be doing curbside pickup for a long time, but that's still exciting. I'm excited to see how the world changes. We are gonna be going more digital than ever before. To be honest, I feel like local stores should have, like you should be able to text an order. I think you should be able to text the store. So everybody, all the employees should have numbers and you text them and you'd be like, yeah, I want a 32 inch Samsung TV today. Is there even 32 inches? I want a big, huge TV. This is the one I want. I looked on your website and then you go and you drive up and you pick it up. Like I think that's what it should be like now. But I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see where this go. Camera is acting up, we need dog food. Good thing I came down the puppy aisle. Cause I'm addicted to the puppy aisle, you guys. I have a problem. Gabby asked me when we left, if you want to get something for Molly, I won't be opposed. Yeah, I do. I do want to get something for her. Luckily, I do not see a single toy in sight. Otherwise, I'd be buying it. These are cute. Aren't they cute? I feel like Gabby would not wear those, even though they're her color. All right, so since we don't know if our trailer is going to open, we need to buy one of these. This is going to be our next big purchase and I think this is it. Uh-oh, that one's on hold. Can't touch that one. They only have three left. So this is what I think we're gonna get. Yeah. It's only four feet. Yeah, I know. I don't like a really tall pool. I like a shorter pool. So it's only four feet, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty big. And we're gonna put it back down by the barn because we can have, there's electricity down there. We can run the pump, extra strength, elite steel frame. All right, so that's what, that's what we're gonna get for the summer. If that's gonna be our summer at home plan. Cause like I said, I don't think we're gonna be able to do a whole lot even if our economy opens up more and more and more, I still think they're going to keep us restricted somewhat. Who is ready for some swimming videos? This girl is. We have a mat like this, but it's blue and I'm dying to use it again. This one has an anchor. This one has an anchor. Yeah, that's fun. We need to put an anchor on ours. For many years, I was a super health nut, like crazy health nut for years and years and years. And I bought this juicer and I made so much juice of my own juice. And today when I was out shopping, I got the idea to make frozen lemonade for the girls because Gabby, you guys have seen, Gabby's been making all her own drinks lately, her coffee drinks. 
and I decided to make frozen lemonade. Okay, so first of all, I always take the um, skin off my lemon. I also heat up the lemon. I put it in hot water and just let it soak with the skin on until it gets warm because you get more juice from a warm lemon. I also put like a plastic bag inside of this part of my juicer so that it gets all the junk in there and then I don't have to like wash it like crazy. And then I just take this bag out and throw it out. All right, so Sophie is going okay, to so juice the lemons. Okay, now wash it off because we don't want any dirty lemons. Okay. Okay, to put it in here? Yep. How many pieces? Uh, you can put both in. And you have to turn it on. And push the thing down and we should get some juice. So, we're not getting any juice. Let me see. That's not enough to make juice. Right. Yeah, so we peeled the, the lemons. We peeled the lemons. We put them all in there. And there's some juice! It's leaking out. Why are you doing that? Three cups of water, one cup of sugar. I used to only cook with raw honey, so I know you can do it that way too if you want to do a more healthy route. Aww. Aww, she's a Adidas puppy. Adidas dog. She's an Adidas dog. She's like, oh, I'm not going to walk. Get her to walk. Molly! 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 Oh! She fell. She's like, get it off me! Stir it until it completely melts. Pull out any seeds if you see them. Add ice. Blend. And add a straw. Here you go, try it. Not enough lemon. Tastes like ice. Ew, that's disgusting. Like my oh, I love your purse. Just tastes like ice. No, it's really good. Can I try it before you put more? It took me three hours to make this stupid thing. Mm. Really good? So, you guys might think that it was rude for Gabby to tell me her honest opinion that it didn't taste um, tart enough. But in our family, when I ask things like that, I want to know the truth, right? Yeah. Not just a nice, kind answer. I want to know the truth as kindly as you can make it. I also bought carrots for our horses. I do this every single time I go to the grocery store. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Are you enjoying your nap? With half of your body under the couch? Yesterday I posted a picture on Instagram asking if you thought two of our chickens were boys. And I think with all your help, I've discovered that one is a boy. Little Miss Molly loves the chickens. So many ways to tell if a rooster is a rooster um, before we, they become mature are hard to tell. Like sometimes their comb is really dark and early but some breeds are like that and like our rhode island red they have red bigger combs earlier on than a regular chicken so you can never tell some of the chickens that i know for sure are hens have the same size spurs and i know boys and girls can both have spurs and it varies on um on breed but yeah like you're just not meant to know until they start crowing that's what i think i'm going to try and rehome our old little bunny Bunny slash chicken coop. Girls just fed the horses. How was the storm? How are the boys? So how are the ponies? How was Miss Molly? She was gonna escape, but then she felt better. So I'm proud of her. Oh, that's good. So I opened the door like all the way. She was like, oh, and then she stood there like, um, oh, no. So for anybody who's worried about Gabby ignoring Ruby, it hasn't happened yet. She's definitely spending lots of love with the puppy, but she's also spending lots of time with Ruby. Ruby and Molly are inseparable. What is she eating? Molly. Today she was trying to eat a rainbow loop. Yeah, she's at the eight stage where she's trying to eat everything.
Don't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in me. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we puppy <laughs> one little run up the hill and they're ready for a nap Whew. at first I did not love that she was um, a tricolor but now I absolutely love that oh, she's a tricolor I know got me saying hey girl will you marry me two kids and a house and live happily so this is what we decided Sam says he's gonna finish it by Saturday but we're going to make it bigger this way. And long. Oh, I love it. And then it's going to come out really far this way. And where is it going to end? At this bush? Or? So then it's going to end at this tree. So it's going to come. We'll picture another one of these that long. So what? So it's going to come way out here. No, that's too long. You think it's too long? I'd rather it go back that way. So basically it's going to be big, you guys. It's going to be like a bigger area so they can go in the grass. He says he's going to finish it by Saturday. Because he needs to go to the store and get more stuff. And we still don't know if we have four hens and a rooster or if we have five hens. All right, I'm taking the last guess. I think I have all hens. I think it, you guys. That little red one might be a boy, but it's almost the same size. It is a bit bigger though. Going from summer to winter in 24 hours really wreaked havoc on us wanting to be outside. We have been inside most of today. Remember what I said, this is how you tie out a puppy running up and down a hill? This is what happened. This is what is left of our puppy. See how she sleeps? This is where she sleeps every day. Anyway, so do you guys remember I told you earlier that I used to be like a super big health nut and I went through like um, the juicing stage? Well, I also went through the photographer stage and I was never very good at either of those things. But I have a bunch of big cameras. So we are gonna try and do a little mini photo shoot with our puppy. A few years ago, Sam bought this huge photography kit uh, the rest of it is over there. It has the whole lighting kit. It's got this sheet. It's got a black sheet. It's got all the things you need. This can go really high, which I might do that to take pictures of Gabby and the puppy. But for now, I'm gonna, I've got it all set up. And I'm going to try and take pictures of the puppy. Um, uh, some of you guys were saying that she should have her own Instagram. And I was thinking that the other day that that would be such a fun thing to watch her grow up. We've already had her for almost two weeks. Uh, and I want to have a record of her at different stages so we can always look back. I also got this uh, light for Christmas last year. One of my favorite things. I think we are so meant to be. But she says, wait, you forgot something. Every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry, cause I got this all down. And we get all together. And we And we